If you want to charge subscriptions for uh, your lessons, you can do that by accessing the packages, uh, the packages, gifts, and subscription uh, tab there, and then you click on types. As you can see here, we have been presented with this button which says new subscription. So Squarespace scheduling allows one to create a subscription for a period of time or indefinitely. So to see that, let's just click new subscription. So we have been presented with the title that we have to put there. But remember, subscriptions are similar as well to these packages that we have because we can offer a subscription for a package as well um, or for just a single item. So in this case, we'll just uh, put it as um, deal for computer lessons, but it's now in a subscription mode. Uh, let's leave it with public access where it's available to all the clients. The, the moment they have a code, they can access it. Let's say for the price, a person will pay $20 per month. The running cycles can, we can actually change it to per month, per week, uh, per two weeks, for six months, per year. Let's just leave it for a month right now. Then the billing cycle can run for a short time from two payments to 20 payments, or it can run forever until the person cancels. So what this means is that as long as the subscription is happening, money is just being taken from the person's card, they have access of using this code uh, to buy or to redeem these lessons that they want to. If you have an initial setup fee, you can put it there. Uh, here is an important section where you can send a subscription renewal reminder to a person because the subscription can keep on running while the person no longer requires the service. So it's important to actually tip it, uh, keep it there. Uh, the category, you can choose one that you like, a picture and a description so that people can easily distinguish uh, the package from the rest of the other appointments. Uh, another important section is where it says every subscription billing cycle, you can reset the amount of points, right? Or you might just leave the remaining appointments to, to roll over to the next period. Remember, a person needs to redeem the points for them to access these lessons. So in this case, we because it's rolling continuously, the amount is reset so that the person can access twice in a month what we are redeeming here are the number of appointments so what happens is each time the billing cycle starts if the person has only used one of these they will be reset and he has to access to two points that he can use to access computer maintenance lessons or computer hardware maintenance lessons this is how we set up a subscription we just need to be careful about this setting where we need to know what happens every subscription cycle and also whether the subscription cycle runs forever until cancelled or it has to run for uh, a specific period that's how we make use of subscriptions remember they will be available on your landing page or in the store for squarespace scheduling